Thank you very much to all of you to coming um, in person or to joining online. We have quite a number of people online today and we're looking forward to their participation. Uh, this event is structured around the, um, a launch of this new book, Open Budgets, The Political Economy of Transparency, Participation and Accountability. And I'm delighted to welcome one of the editors and, and uh, authors, Paolo Dorenzio, who is a senior research fellow at the International Budget Partnership and also a research associate and former colleague at ODI. So welcome and welcome back. Uh, we're joined also by um, a first-rate panel of discussants as well. Dr. Joachim Wenner, who is a senior lecturer in government at the London School of Economics and um, well published on these matters of fiscal transparency and other issues. So we'll look forward to hearing his, his comments, contributions, and has been a collaborator with Paolo on these sorts of issues for some years. And Rebecca Simpson, who is a research officer in the Centre for Aid and Public Expenditure here at ODI, working among other issues on budget transparency and public expenditure issues. So the way we will proceed is we'll invite Paolo to launch off the presentation about, about 20, 30 minutes, um, tell us about the book, um, what was set up, what was found and what conclusions we draw, and then we'll have some time, some comments from Rebecca and from Joachim to provoke and prompt the discussion, and we'll leave around 45 minutes, I think, at the end to get some good contribution and engagement from you here in the room and from the, um, and from the participants online. Transparency, obviously, a major topic at the moment, not least because of the, um, its, its role in the G8 agenda, uh, which, is, which is live currently, but also thanks very much to the, to the, the, the work of organisations like the International Budget Partnership and through its Open Budget Index and the Open Government Partnership, uh, very much a, ho a hot topic, and I think there's a tremendous amount of support around this, this idea and the potential it holds, but also um, some questions to grapple with about the, how much these links are axiomatic and direct and how much the sort of effects that it can really have. And I think the new evidence um, thrown from a set of detailed case studies will be really valuable in helping us to open up this discussion. So without further ado, I'll turn to Paolo.